Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look into Aries week ahead for May 3rd through the 9th. In this message we are going to tap into the energies with the energy oracle deck. Then we will do an overview message with the fairy tarot. We will dig a little bit deeper with a traditional tarot deck. Then I will also clarify the cards and um, pull a few cards for advice. Then I will pull a few Soul Journey cards at the end as well as a Power Thought card. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome to stay. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that's resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For more information on how to book a personal reading, energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that I do here every month for free personal readings, all that other useful information is all linked below in the description box. And Aries. If you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome and it does help to set your intentions for future messages. So quite a few cards came out here and so I'm going to um, reshuffle but I will show you the cards that came out because it's, it's looking like you have a choice here and this has been what I've been seeing coming up for a lot of people like something from your past maybe coming back or maybe this is something you've been entertaining for a while I feel like this is something that you've definitely been hurt by um, and it looks like there's something that you're going to have to walk away from um, there's definitely a new love interest with door to romance this is something new coming in okay i feel like what is going to come out here is there is a need to, a need to walk away from the past and move forward to the future but let's see here got door to romance take action thinking man so this is something that you could have been contemplating thinking about for a while mm -hmm. okay and I also feel like the, I'm getting this sense, Aries, that if you don't make this decision, and this is just how life plays out in general, so I'm getting a sense, but this is just a, how life is going to play out. If you don't make a decision, one's going to be made for you. So if you don't decide, if you don't make a choice, um, somebody else is going to decide. One of these people are going to choose to walk away because you haven't made a choice and then you're going to be left with the other person. That's how the choice is made. So let's take a look. I feel like there is a need here to release the past. However, for some of you, this could be releasing this new in, new person and focusing on, the, on what you've already built or what you've already been working on. Let's see. For Aries. What does Aries need to see for me third through the night regarding this choice? Please and thank you, Spirit. cards are a handful. We'll get it together. Let's see. Ten of Winter. This is the Ten of Swords. Balance. This is Temperance.
the world. The Princess of Autumn learning new things. Okay. I see here. So Ten of Winter is the Ten of Swords, Balance is Temperance, the World card, obviously. Princess of Autumn is the Page of Pentacles. So it's definitely something that's ending, something that you're walking away from. Once you make this decision, I feel like things are going to start feeling more balanced, more optimistic. Once you completely make this decision and make this start making this move, start moving towards moving forward, that's when I feel like you're going to feel free. There's going to be the sense of freedom. There is things that you've had to learn from this. It's been a very tumultuous ending. Maybe something like a betrayal or um, they hurt you, t took some things, you know, um, things that maybe you thought weren't ever going to leave, you know, maybe you lost a family. Some of you could have very well lost your home, um, but I feel like where you're headed, you're going to have everything that you've had, maybe even more. So what I feel like the cards are symbolizing, and we're going to get some more cards out here for you, Aries. Try to um, change your perspective here, or there's going to be a change in perspective soon that's going to... Um, Help you to see. Help you to see why everything turned out the way it has or how everything has turned out was for a reason. Okay. So let's see here what we get out of these tarot cards for you, Aries, for May 3rd through the 9th. Please and thank you. Now, from what I see here, Aries, this person in the past, there's definitely a lack of loyalty, um, a lack of trust here with this person. And I'll just get these cards. We'll just get these cards right out and then we'll talk about it. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Star card, the Strength card, King of Swords, Hermit, to the Two of Pence. Hanged Man, the Four of Pence, Ten of Pence, Page of Pence, Ten of Wands in Reverse, the Death Card. This person was very controlling. Okay, very disloyal, dishonest, not very trustworthy. I feel like you've had to do a lot of healing from this person. I feel like you may have also had to stand your ground because I feel like this person may have been really flighty, back and forth, in and out type of energy. I do feel like you have made a decision here, Aries, to kind of take a step back and focus on what's going to be for your best interest, right? Moving forward. Making sure that things are balanced, making sure that things are for your best interest. I do feel like there was kind of this need to kind of withhold your energy, take a step back and focus. This new opportunity that's coming in is going to be more abundant, more stable. 
but you're going to have to make this decision to release this past situation before you're going to be able to fully move forward. Now, like I said, if you don't make a decision, this could this could lead somewhere that you don't want. You know, this could lead to um, somebody making the decision for you. This could also lead to exactly what you want it to lead to. You kind of have a choice right now, right? I do feel like there are some significant changes with the death card here that are needing to be made that maybe that's why you're not wanting to move forward completely. Maybe there's a little bit res of resistance to that because once you release these burdens, once you release this past situation fully, we have the death card, which symbolizes a transformation. Um, it's like death and rebirth, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. But in that process, it doesn't feel so easy, right? It doesn't feel so nice. So there was this decision that was needing to be made. You were blind. You were playing blind to this decision for a while. I feel like you're coming to terms with this, even though it's causing you some stress, some anxiety to think about this decision. I feel like you do have the tools. You have the tools that it takes. You also maybe need to build up a little bit of courage here with the strength card before proceeding. When you're taking a step back, I feel like this is mental clarity. You're trying to gain some mental clarity about the situation, uh, moving forward strategically. But I do feel like you are going to choose to walk away from this past situation into this more stable opportunity. That's what we're going to call it. Give it time, have patience with the process because it's not going to happen overnight. Be certain that's what you truly want and focus on being balanced, being stable and staying grounded, staying focused on the end result, the end goal. Let's get a few cards out here for your advice, Aries, moving forward. I'm going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended, we'll take a look at what the next steps are. Also take a look at the potential outcome, right? Where this is headed. We'll pull out the Archangel Guidance cards for the blessing. I'll pull out the Soul Truth for the lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome to join. That link is below in the description box. <clears throat> the advice cards coming out for you, Aries. The Eight of Pentacles. The three of wands and the five of pentacles in reverse. There's a need here to release the, the negative past thinking, right? This feeling left, feeling abandoned, like, oh, in my past, this happened, that happened, but I've moved forward. Well, you really haven't if you're kind of still saying that right? You don't have to speak on things that you've already done. If you're completely healed from that, you're not going to. It's not in you to do that until like you're maybe guiding somebody else through their own, their own turmoil, or, you know, maybe you're a public speaker. Other than that, I don't find too many people going around bragging about their pain. Taking some time to kind of clear that energy, right? That's what the hanged man is, changing your perspective. Also, putting in that little work, the eight of pentacles, a lot of times is that apprenticeship, that putting in that educational work to um, allow yourself to make it to that next level. And I feel like either you are 
maybe planning this out or already maybe doing some schooling, doing some classes or getting some licenses. Um, I feel like what those cards are saying here is either that's the direction you need to be headed or you're headed in the right direction, whichever that's pertaining to you. So Aries, the soul truths that are coming out for you or the soul journey cards, sorry, the soul truths are in the extended indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. That's on the bottom of the deck. So we have seen there's been a little bit of indecision. I feel like you are coming to terms with that. You are coming to the spot where you're deciding and sticking to that. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So I am going to read the excerpts out of the book for these soul journey cards. If you don't want to hear, you are more than welcome to skip forward. However, I feel like there's a reason for everything. And so I was just intuitively reading these cards, but there is actual messages in the book that coincide with these cards so and they're meaningful messages so let's get to it perseverance as a soul you are on a mission in this physical dimension you are the only one who knows the correct path to take your intuition your connection to spirit is your compass you have the power to stay the course and you are stronger and more determined than you might first think. In order to experience many successes in life, you must mature and realize the strength within yourself and the quality of inner courage. Life doesn't just happen. We must make it happen. It is natural for us in this human school to shy away from what we believe to be difficult because we concern ourselves with how others will perceive us. We are afraid of failure, ridicule, and coming up short. Now is the time to take the proper changes and take risks to do things you never thought you could before. Your soul must learn to become aware of its inner strength. Live the jo joyfulness of your soul your soul yearns for and engage in activities you have always wanted to try but were afraid you'd fail at your soul would not yearn for something that you couldn't accomplish you have the strength and fortitude to be capable of greatness 333 three, three. i just looked at the clock 333 three, three. guilt i release any belief that no longer assists my soul's growth the energy of fear has many guises to complicate your path to loving yourself. Guilt is the most devious because it is a wolf in sheep's clothing. It is a self-imposed emotion that pretends to be instructive and enlightening. Guilt can help us grow when we realize that our actions have been hurtful to others and that we need to make amends. After we do so, though, it's time to learn from our behaviors and move on. The problem arises when we hold on to the guilty feeling and sir, that serves no purpose other than promoting self-destructiveness and low self-esteem. No one is perfect. <clears throat> Everyone makes mistakes. Guilt is not always rational, but if you examine it subjectively, act on it and release it it becomes a temporary emotion long held guilty feelings are never good and will create a roadblock to self-love and happiness you must continually scan your current emotions for any guilty feelings and bring them to the surface for analysis healthy guilt is a warning that action should be taken irrational guilt needs to be released I feel like what this is saying here Aries is by holding on to guilt by holding on to 
past things, you know, because, you know, we're trying to make amends or we're trying to make things right, it's not serving a purpose, you know. By doing it when it's first, the action first happens, that's normal. Holding on to that is what's causing these roadblocks. I am in the process of positive change. Again, guys, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. If you guys find this this message is helpful, if you find that it was useful or there was some information that resonated, give it a thumbs up. It helps the growth of the channel. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind beautiful 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 aries so aries thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing again if you want to get in on the extended version the link is below otherwise thank you guys again so much and i look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon namaste